Hello, hello everyone. I wanted to make a new post on my Google Classroom for Open Up Resources 6-8 Math because my original way that I had my classroom um, set up really wasn't working for me. So I thought I would give you some new ideas to kind of spin your wheels about. Um, remember to add a class. You can go up to this create plus sign, create or join a class button and add your specifics there. In my classroom, we have uh, three new pages. So I have stream, classwork, and my people page. On the stream, I really, I started out by putting all of my information there, and now I really don't have much. Today I had a sub, so um, so there's just some stuff that my kids might be able to use for today's lesson, but really I don't use my stream for a whole bunch except for some announcements. On the classwork page, this is kind of my hub. This is where everything is. Um, under my important links topic, I have the student material site linked along with the family material site. And then I I'm going to make a topic for every single unit. And within that unit, I'll have each lesson. Um, and within each lesson, I'll have the student goals, slides, practice problems, and summary just all laid out for my students. The first post under a unit for my classroom are my practice problems and answer keys along with my family materials site listed again and um, that's just going to help me stay organized and and we'll be able to find stuff a lot easier when you create a topic i'm going to make one for unit two i added this to my classroom and it adds it to the very end of my page and you can always bump that up when i make my actual unit two topic i'm going to keep that um right under the important link so everything my students need for the current unit is at the top um, when you create a material, so this is different. My first post, we talked about assignments and how you can mark those as ungraded, but now they have materials so that I don't, they're not graded. Um, it's just my students know that that's information that they could use, just like I post for each lesson. So I can pick what unit that's under. You can also add them to multiple classes. <clears throat> and when you click post, my test um, materials went all the way down to the bottom. If you want to bump that back up, you can push the menu three dot menu button and click move up and you'll, you'll be able to move that up one at a time. Um, so the people page has my teachers listed along with my students in my classroom. And again, that about link is right here if you want to show your students your class code and have them type that in themselves. So that's how I'm laying out my classroom now that there's some new features in Google Classroom and after I've had some troubleshooting time with my students in my own room. So um, let me know if this is helpful and I can't wait to see how you use Google Classroom and other resources in your classroom. Thanks.